He were getting pinged about in the bus to Douglas fight. Did he quit? Maybe that, that maybe that's a bit harsh, but all the other knockouts where he got knocked out, he quit, mate. And the ones where he was struggling, they were trying to break people's arms, weren't he, and all sorts. He's just a schoolyard bully that people stood up to and he was found out one pretty early in his career. It were over for him really before it got started in my opinion. That's that's yeah. my I think it were over for him when he were after when he was 23, it were all over, wasn't it? He got beat by Buster Douglas when he was 23, didn't he? Were you 23? Yeah, he was 20 when he won it in, in 86 November. So forward three year, two month, he was still 23. So so basically, he, he's been over since then. Now he's 53. He's 30 year from his peak. People are hanging out of the back of him. Get a grip. And, well, and I, I like to listen to Teddy Atlas. He tells a good story about Mike Tasson. We aren't going in too deep. We know what he is, don't we? Oh, yeah. So, his niece. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can't. I don't forgive things like that. I don't forgive things like that. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, mate. All right, then moving uh, on. Next question, mate. Um, do you think Frank Warren's comments on Dubois was genuine? That you put him in the ring with um, Wilder, and yeah, do you think them comments were genuine? <laughs> Frank Warren would put Dubois in with Wilder. Uh, not yet. I don't think he would just yet, no. No. One thing that Frank's good at though, mate, is timing, isn't he? Matching timing, yeah, he board. tries to time it perfect. He did it with Lacey and Calzaghi. He timed that perfect, didn't he? But I think, though, if, if, um, if Fury beats Wilder again, and obviously the boy gets through joint, I think he's going to be fighting for that Yeah, he has, yeah. People will hunt him down now, Wilder. They won't go on back foot. Yeah, they'll just go forward. Yeah, yeah. But, but I think that with the ball, I think he's still raw. And um, I think he's got great boxing fundamentals. Does the basics very well. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll give him three years. I think um, Frank will put him, in, put him in with anybody. Yes. Yeah. You might yeah. be right there, mate. Except, except Fury. I think, I mm, uh, can't see Frank putting him in Fury. No. Uh, do you? Yeah. What with Dubois? Yeah. You're free inside. Well, yeah. Fury might be retired by then. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be. Do, listen, it could be Dubois and Yui Fury main man in, in next five years, couldn't it? Because Yui's only 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good point. I think, I think uh, there's more to come with Yui Fury, though. Yeah. I've seen you with Spar right for years, right, and I've been in two camps there. And I, I've seen stuff, and people have gone, "Wow!" And some of the things he's done, but maybe he just like, he needs to let his hands go a bit more. Who, who knows? Do you, think, do you think he gets? Do you think he gets like nervous energy? He's got nervous energy though when he when he fights. So it's like, it's like you said, it in sparring and in, in training, he's like, do you know what I mean? He, I don't know, you know, he always he always looks relaxed to me. I don't the you know travelling kids, right, who fight that they fight every day, they love to spar, they'd rather spar than do hill runs and I I just I dunno, I've seen some boxers, they get gloved up and they're gonna spar somebody and they look they look like frightened to death and all tense and I've been in Peter's gym, I've seen Tyson putting gloves on and uh to spar people and you and, and it's just second nature to them because that's how they're fetched up in it. So I don't yeah. think there's any nervousness from any any travelling kids because it's spread in them, innit? To yeah, fight, yeah, innit? Yeah. Whereas well, some fighters, you, know, you don't don't, like fight night though. That's what I mean in terms of you know getting in front of people and like. You, you mean in front of the cameras? Huh? 
You mean in front of the cameras? Yes, exactly. Not as in fighting, but as in like just you know, an audience and the cameras. You know, maybe the, stage. The maybe it might be because I've I've seen Dave Allen perform brilliantly, and then I've seen him on telly perform awfully. And going back to uh, say, for instance, right. You know, if you play snooker and you play on your own, you just go for pots that are like off the cuff and you get them, don't you? But them shots never go in if you've got 100 people watching. You, you, you miss them and it, it's, I don't know, it's its a mindset. A lot of it's mental and who knows, maybe it might be mental, there might be a, a mental block in Yui that he can't perform to the best of his abilities on the night. I don't know. I would have thought he would have beat Povetkin and he didn't. I think he got old manned. The pool F1 he got cut early on, but he'd had a cut four weeks previous in camp. I were there, I seen it. And the Parker one, I thought he got robbed. So I think people have been critical of you. He's only 25. I mean, there are people are raving about Fraser Clark saying he might be signing with Eddie Earn and blah, blah, blah. Well, he's 28, 29. Not even turned pro yet. Yui's 25, he's got time on his side, hasn't he? Yeah. So, who knows, but I, I think it might be a bit of both, a bit of stage for it, I don't know, but Yui's a good fighter, trust me. Yeah, man, I, I, I agree with you, man. I think, the, the, I think his name now, I think, like you said, the criticism that he gets is because of his name, I think. Do you know, to the Tyson? Yeah. Paul Smith. Paul Smith, yeah, so obviously, yeah, it's no Karen Smith, do you think Karen Smith will ever get the Canelo fight? And obviously, Paul Smith's um, comments on the um, Canelo deal, obviously, that Billy Jones, Billy Jones saw as accepted. So, if they're the same deal or something, they're the same deal. So, the same deal. so, Callum Smith's not getting the same money as Billy Joe? Basically, yeah. Well, Billy Joe's a bigger name, and he? he's a two weight champion, and Callum Smith's not out there, is he? He doesn't. Sell himself very well, does he? He's he's, he's just he's a very quiet kid, isn't he? Do you think they really want Peter Smith? Do you think they really want Gallagher? Gallagher? Do you think he really wants that fight, though? I think they want it, but they want it up top end at money. They keep going on about oh, Callum's Ring Magazine champion and blah de blah. He's been gifted a career, Callum Smith. When have you seen Callum Smith in a fight where you've gone, ooh, it's not favourite here? Never, he's not been in, he's not been tested yet, has he? He's no miles on clock. Yeah. Who's Callum Smith's best win? George Groves, I'll probably say. Uh, well, and had George Groves got miles on clock? Yeah, he did. Lots. George Groves had 120,000 miles on clock. He was a free series BMW when he got in the ring with uh, Callum Smith with exhaust blowing and track rod end knackered on one at, one at, one at wheels. Well, yeah, well, that's true. And it was his second best win. Hassan and Dam, blown up middleweight, pushing Fotty. It was his third best win. Rocky Fielding, Rocky from Stocky. Do me a favour. He's been manoeuvred around Choppy Waters, Callum Smith. And he's not got a top win, has he, really? It's a bit like James DeGale, isn't it? Everybody were raving, weren't they, about James DeGale. But tell me James DeGale's best three wins. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, sorry mate. I, I can't really I can't really name his question to you honestly. Yeah. Booty. Huh? Luchin Booty. Yeah. Andre Dirrell. Yeah. And he lost to Groves, didn't he, Digga? But I thought he won. So they're his best three fights that he's been in, yeah? Yeah. Right. Who took George Groves, Andre Dirrell? And Luchin Butte's zeros. You there? Yeah, sorry, man. I'm just, I'm just uh, looking at something. Oh, you're just looking at box wreck. You should know yeah, this, yeah. you casual. No, no, no. I'm still learning, still learning. <laughs> so, who took Butte's zero, Durell's zero, and Grove's zero? 
Da 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 da. It's the B O Double G. There you go. We don't talk. Well, that one. Well, that one bullshit. Well, because Frotch took their O's. But yeah, I get people emailing me saying, "Bucky, Carl Frotch with James DeGale. He retired." Yeah, he retired. He didn't move up a weight like Carl Zaggy and fight two more fights when Frotch was mandatory. Carl Frotch retired. But when people talk to me about he swerved James DeGale, go and look at the statistics. Go and look what James DeGale's done. And then, but who got there first? James DeGale's got Carl Frotch's leftovers. Yeah, yeah. And there you go, and he beat Groves twice. So. I'm a stat man, me, but I talk straight. Now, like I said, you know who you are, the guy who sent me that email the other day regarding James DeGale. I've just owned you, all right? <laughs> you like that one? I like that one. just off top of my head, that one. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on. Um, it's a first fight with GGG with Canelo over the cup. Is the first fight with Tri GGG and Canelo? First, first fight, first fight, if it happens, do you think it'll be overcooked? I don't want to see a third fight, who wants to see that? Triple G's finished now, anyway. Yeah. He's yeah. an old man now, isn't he, Triple G? He's there to be beat. Canelo's ten year younger, and he's nine year younger, so... I don't want to see that fight, and I don't want to see Chisora white free. No, I don't really want to see Fury wilder free, to be honest, but they're going to have it, aren't we? Because he's eating... Hey. It's possibly Wilder's last big, big payday, though, isn't it? Yeah, Wilder's guaranteed a big payday, so he's going to take it, isn't he? And then after that, he'll still get paydays, he'll just not get as much, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah. But do you think he'll fight Joshua, though? Yeah, I think he'll fight Joshua. Joshua will fight him when he's, when he's washed oh. up, when he's about 38 or something. Do you think he'll get a good deal? Yeah, they'll fetch him over and Joshua will set about him in England, that's what'll happen. That's what I think, but who knows, maybe you might ice him, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see John Ryder getting the rematch with uh, Callum Smith? John Ryder? Uh, I'd like to think so, yeah, I think John Ryder deserves a rematch. I thought he won the first fight by two rounds, and I thought the behaviour from Tesco Joe and, and Callum Smith and... All the people around them were shocking after the first fight. Very dismissive. I thought he struggled against John Wilder. John Wilder just... Uh, John Wilder. John Ryder, sorry, not Wilder. I thought John Ryder had Callum Smith struggling. He sat on his chest and just kept throwing. And he, yeah. he, he, had the, he nailed the blueprint how to beat Callum Smith. So... Yeah. Perfect game plan, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, mate. It was. Well, uh, if they don't get Canelo a fight, they'll, put, they'll do John Ryder one, but does John Ryder deserve pay-per-view out of it? I hope so, but whether, it, whether he gets it or not, I don't know, but I'd like to see John Ryder get some out of sport, because he's, he's been shafted a few times in Liverpool now, hasn't he? Yeah. So, he was shafted against Field and shafted against Smith. He's not had much luck in Liverpool, has he? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they don't like that Essex lot up there in the, in in Liverpool, do they? Nah. So. I think, to be honest, with you, I think with um, obviously with Cam Smith with the Canelo um, thing, I think he's hoping to get Anfield, but I don't, he's never going to get that. Yeah. That's what he's hoping for. Callum Smith know. couldn't draw flies to a telephone box. I don't understand that though, because like you said, obviously you know it's Ring Magazine uh, champion and that, and then he, he can't even sell that stadium. I don't understand. Yeah, but he waited it out, didn't he? He didn't want to go near Groves when he when he were riding. I went before he were injured. He didn't want to go near David Benavides. There's another one as well that he's swerved as well. I mean, all that about Callum Smith's uh, being mandatory and number one at WBC for over two years and all this and off, or what it over three years or something. Well, it's just the same old 
Dillian White thing, isn't it? It's the same old blame it on that and hide behind your promoter. Callum Smith had ample opportunity to be in big fights. They waited it out and waited it out and played waiting game. He's ended up with a WBA belt and a Ring Magazine belt and made millions and millions of pounds. But who's his best three wins? I've just told you and it, it, the, the wins don't warrant the belts and the money he's made, do they? No, it does. So that, that's just straight talk, that. A lot of people in the industry won't say that, but that's as true as it gets, mate. He's had one of the, he's had one of the easiest career paths, though, in terms of get, uh, how he got those, those belts. Yeah, you know, very, he's, very... He's very, very easy career path, just like Conor Ben. Uh, I hope so, but who else has Roy Jones trained to a world title that's been successful? No one. No one. Is Roy Jones just doing it to get his 10% of some decent money? Well... Because he's got dough problems, hasn't he? Has he invested in his money, obviously, Roy Jones? No, he's been bankrupt, hasn't he, Roy Jones? He's back I living in his dad's farm, isn't he? Yeah. On, on TV. He'll be coming back again soon, Roy Jones. They all, every pug thinks they've got a comeback in them, don't they? If there's a few quid about. But he's actually a decent guy, Roy Jones, but yeah. he went on too long, didn't he? Well, that's the thing, mate. We obviously see Mike Tyson, Van der Herfield coming back. We've obviously Shannon Briggs coming back. We'll see David A coming back. We'll see Tony Bell, you definitely coming back. So obviously, Roy Jones, Roy Jones you'll probably want a piece of that, won't he? Why would Mike Tyson and Holyfield and Shannon Briggs want to come back? It's because they're skint, mate, or because they want a slice of the cake. Slice of the cake, I think it's an ego. No, there's no ego, mate, it's just the cake they want. They just want the cake. Davy Day ploughs through money like you could never imagine. There's some tales I'm not going to mention on here, but Davy Day, let me tell you, a very generous man. When he goes out, he picks up tabs everywhere and flies everywhere first class blah de blah you don't think no to spending 150 grand on a car then flogging it six months later or listen he plows through money david a like you could never imagine honestly plows through it other world champions uh i'm not going to mention names but other world champions are very careful with the money david a plows through it like you could never imagine and he needs the money because he's got an expensive lifestyle yeah. Doesn't he get like his home? Doesn't he get his accommodation paid for? Doesn't he start? Yeah, he lives in an hotel in London, doesn't he? Plaza, is it yeah. or hotel, yeah. something like that? Mm, very nice. Sponsors, yeah, it's uh, nice if you can get it. Yeah, exactly right, exactly. <laughs> um, do you see Josh Warrington being Chuck Stevenson? Ooh, in Italy United ground. If he jumps on him, maybe, maybe. I don't know. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight in America. No, I don't. I think he'd get shafted over there if he went yeah. to points. I don't think he'd get a fair rub at Green. But if he fought in Leeds and he had a good camp and he just got a crowd behind him, maybe yeah, maybe I could see it. It'd be a hard fight for me. It'd be like a Ricky Hat and Costa Zoo thing, wouldn't it? Kind of yeah. thing. But I, I can see him winning. But I can also see other kid winning. It's a it's an hard fight for Josh though. I don't make him a favourite, but I can see him doing it, yeah. Do you think um, they'll try and prolong it though? So obviously, do you think they'll try and, obviously with Warrington, do you think he'll try and melt the belt and then fight Chuck Stevenson? Yeah, the, the Josh Warrington's, what, what has he had in his last, is it 11 of his last 13 fights have all been in Leeds? They like yeah. home advantage, don't they? Yes, they do. So, er... Uh, but I see that being an hard fight for him, but they want to get him to Leeds, I think, Stevenson. That's what I think. He's open, he's open to coming to Leeds, though, Stevenson, isn't he? Well, he'd have to do, because he doesn't sell a ticket. He doesn't sell a ticket, does he, over there in America? Yeah. So. True. Um, do you see Tommy Frank getting beat before the Sonny Edwards fight, and why isn't, isn't it happening now? The Sonny Edwards fight, Dennis is wanting to make it now. Wanting to make it because they're not letting Flores fly over to fight for IBO apparently. Oh wow, okay. Snoop. So Dennis is open to making the fight. So that's what I'm hearing. So. What's, um, what's, the, what's, the, what's the opposite side's take on that though? So they 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but I know Charlie Edwards has left Eddie Hearn and signed with Warren, hasn't he? So that's what I've heard. Mm, that's an interesting news. But Tommy against Sonny is a good fight. You got the kid with all the skills against Tommy, who's a nice kid and that. But you make Sonny a favourite. But who knows on the night? You know what I mean? Well, but it's a good. Yeah, he's got. He's just got. You got to put it on him. Sonny's had it all his own way, and he's so far. But he's a great little fighter. But he's had it all his own way, but I'd have to back Tommy in that fight, obviously, but, you know, who, who knows who's going to win that fight. We'll, we'll see, won't we, but Tommy uh, should fight him next, and if he loses, then he's still bringing him back, just like he did Clinton Woods when he lost against yeah. Dave Starry. Have, um, have, you, have you and him made up then now? Tommy Frank? Yeah, he's not, yeah, he's not blocked me now, because I called him out on here, let me just see. I sent him a I sent him a message. I so just changed my phone number and I sent him a message and I put Tommy, you little crybaby, and uh, he didn't, he hadn't replied, but he's he's not blocked me. All oh, right, <laughs> Tommy, how are you doing? <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's all good banter, isn't it? I don't mean anything from my heart. Tommy's all right. I like his trainer a lot though, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, <laughs> I'm a sod, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis has just been trying to ring me now. When it when as soon as I pick the phone up, he'll say, "How much B O W L O C K S have you caused today already at uh, at eleven o'clock?" And I said, "Just a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> do you um do you see Dennis delivering a world title shot for Josh mm. before he retires? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do, yeah, it's in Pipeline. I've just done an interview with Steve Crump and that's going to be out in the next four or five days. Uh, I'm not putting that out straight away because we're going to jazz it up a bit. But uh, And they're looking at putting a, a world title fight on for Josh Whale at Oakwell, isn't it? Barnes of Football Ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to get this year out of the way next year. The plan is Josh Whale, Oakwell, Oak I nearly said Oakley then, that's my glasses, isn't it? Oakwell, uh, Barnsley, football ground there, so that's the plan. Uh, but they, the, Dennis and Steve Crump like the Metrodome. Yeah. So, so I don't know, I, well, that's the plan anyway, to get Josh Whale a world title. So that's, yeah, that's, the, that's, that's the IBO route. Yeah, that'll probably be IBO route, but it might be IBF. I don't know, he might fight in America for IBF Intercontinental, or... We don't know, the, the possibilities are, are coming in all time, I think. So, we'll see, won't we? But in boxing, there's talkers and there's smoky bacon walkers. So, what I hear goes in one ear and out the other until I see it. But, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of crap spoke, isn't there? But... A lot of people say they're going to do things and do that. Oh, they're going to do wonders, but all they do is lay cucumbers. So I, I, I always tend to listen to it, computerise it, and then think, we'll see. So let's see what, what's what. But this virus is causing a lot of problems, and it's maybe stopped a bit of Josh Wales' momentum, because since we signed him, he's 4-0, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. How, are you still, how's, he, how's he training, then? Did he just, like, He's a bricklayer, I think he's working with his brother Gwyn laying bricks at the moment and keeping his son busy doing that and I think he trains at night, he still does his runs. He's a fit kid, he lives a life. Yeah. Lovely, lovely kid, they both do, him and his brother Dempsey. Proper dedicator then they'll do well. Mm. How's um, your mate, Steffi Ball? I don't, uh, I don't speak to him, I don't like him, I don't trust him. If he's got a problem, come see me Steffi. You only live three mile away, two and a half, three mile away, come see me. So, but I, I don't know, somebody sent me some uh, things last night on my phone uh, saying that he were on Twitter hanging out the back of Eddie Earn with his begging bowl or something. So I don't know. But I wish Steffi Bull well. He's done well for that girl, Terry Harper, hasn't he? So we have to give him credit where credit's due. Yeah. yeah. But he's done well for that girl. And uh, I wish him all the best from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
But uh, next question. I think that's it, mate. Is that it? Oh, you've been brilliant, yeah. mate. You've been absolutely brilliant, and it's nearly going to go on this. So you've got two half an hour episodes there. So thanks for coming on, uh, Big V. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me on, Ross. Uh, say hello to your missus. Give her all my best. Are you drinking out your porky mugs? De- oh, mate, definitely, mate. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the morning. <laughs> brilliant, mate. Well, listen, thanks for coming on. You've been a good guest, and I'll have you on next week. How's that? Yeah, sweet, mate. Get some questions mate. ready. All right, mate, you take care. You too, mate. Cheers, B. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's good to get Big V on from uh, down in the Peaky Blinders country. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Good interview, that. Some good topics. Uh, he slipped that Steffi Wool one in on me, didn't he? How you doing, Steffi? No more twerking. <laughs> I'll tell Vito. So that's about it, Uh, peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing or get this out today.